Hello viewers and today I've got another awesome loadout that you can use in Warzone and today I've got a weapon which I hardly see anyone ever use in Warzone. This is the ISO submachine gun from the Modern Warfare series of weapons and for this combination of attachments I wanted to see how the ISO performed when you maximise that hip fire accuracy. This means shortening the stock, shortening the barrel and using lasers and making sure that you've got plenty of ammo in that magazine before you've got to reload so you can spray on the enemy for as long as possible. But before I break down all of those attachments for you and show you some awesome gameplay that I've got with this hip fire ISO, it would be amazing if you could consider subscribing to the channel. I'm getting close now towards 800 subscribers and I just want to say thank you to everyone that still tunes in to watch even during this quite trying time in Warzone but I do have a feeling that things are really going to pick up with the new Call of Duty around the corner being announced very very soon. If you just want to jump straight into Warzone then feel free to pause the video here as these are the attachments that I'm using. And so starting off in the barrel attachment slot I'm using the shortest barrel available and that is the ISO 140mm close quarters battle barrel. This is a compact factory installed fully shrouded barrel as it says and it makes a small sacrifice to accuracy and range to improve that close quarters combat and let me tell you it does improve aim down sight speed by 13 milliseconds we get boosts to movement speed and ads movement speed at one and three percent improvements respectively we also get a 5% improvement to hip fire accuracy as is the theme of this weapon and combination of attachments. And lastly, we do get a sprint speed improvement of 1%. 1% doesn't sound like much, but it does mean that we can rush the enemy that little bit more effectively. Obviously, we're going to lose damage range, vertical recoil control and bullet velocity. But as a super close range weapon, we're going to be not really relying on those sorts of attributes. Of course, any hip fire build would not be fit without this 5 milliwatt laser in the laser attachment slot. Because as well as providing a sprint to fire and tactical sprint to fire improvement, it will also improve the hip fire area by a massive 60%. Overall, with this combination of attachments according to True Game Data, the hip fire bloom will be 1.41 kilopixels across and you'll see in the gameplay that I've got for you that that is an absolutely tiny hip fire crosshair and you should know because I'm on console my field of view is actually stuck at 80 for you PC players who can afford to use a higher FOV that crosshair will be even smaller continuing to maximize that hip fire accuracy as much as possible in the stock attachment slot I am using the ISO collapsible which will further improve aim down to sight speed by 33 milliseconds once again we gain movement speed and ADS movement speed improvements we get a 2% improvement to movement speed and a massive 20% improvement to ADS movement speed so in the case that we are going to be aiming in on the enemy to make sure that we're that little bit more accurate we're going to be 20% quicker on the move and therefore a lot harder to hit but notably the hip fire area is further improved by 17% that's on top of the 60% from the laser and the 5% from the barrel also sprint speed is further improved once again by 2% you can really see how this ISO even as a submachine gun is becoming very very quick and maximum agility Yet again, another attachment that will improve that hip fire accuracy is the Merc foregrip in the under barrel attachment slot. Because as well as improving that hip fire accuracy by a further 17%, we are also gaining a 17% reduction to vertical recoil. We are losing a considerable amount of vertical recoil control in the form of the barrel and the stock. And so it's nice that this Merc foregrip can claw back at some of that but I would say that it's not actually that bad anyway, as you'll see in the gameplay that I've got for you. And for the final attachment, as this weapon does fire quite quickly, I think it's around about 830 rounds per minute, the 50 round drum mag is pretty much a no brainer for spraying and praying on the enemy, even though it's not really spraying and praying because the hit for hit area is so accurate pretty much nearly all of your bullets will be hitting any enemy up to probably around about 20 meters I'd say but you should give it a go yourself to see for yourself. 
but let me know down in the comments if you do give this ISO a go. This blueprint is called the Conduit and it's from the season where the ISO was released. So if you do have that, you can stick this on and get this very cool looking sort of ready orangey skin, which is, I think is quite nice and better than most of the camos really. But anyway, let me know if you give it a go nonetheless. And leave a like if you enjoy the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the gameplay. Got load out nice and quickly. First circle hasn't even closed. There are 24 enemies still out. Oops, only 24 players are left. That's just the way of rebirth sometimes. That was my first ever pull of the trigger with this uh, ISO. I genuinely, when I was having this fight here, I genuinely thought they were invisible because I looked upon the roof and I didn't see anyone there, but they must have just stepped back in that moment I looked. And there was definitely someone here, though. You can see how the hip fire actually helps quite a lot when you, on the odd occasion, do ADS because... If you watch as you ADS, the hip fire crosshair will shrink. Nice little hip fire there. So the crosshair will actually shrink to the aim down sight thing, and so you can sort of start firing before it's fully gone into like the ADS mode, because the crosshair is already so small, the bullets aren't really going to be deviating that much. They're still landing back, so there must be one of them alive still. And they've got a sentry gun. That's the second, guys. It's very two up there now. I was going to RPG, get rid of that sentry gun. But that was bad timing. Managed to get away, though. See there, if you just sort of watch that slowly, you'll see that... Oh, I lost that fight because I had no armour. But I nearly get the self-revive, but he just finished me off. Anyway, I jumped straight back into the uh, into Rebirth. This is the next game. And as you can see, we've pretty much got enough to get a loadout, but my team are being very unhelpful and they're not coming to give me the money so I'm just going to try and wait around this shop because I really want to get my ISO again just sort of if I can defend this point then no one else can buy the loadout from here so I just thought if I just stay here and wait for them to come along then perhaps I'll get a loadout. A good couple of downs though so far, which is alright. Right, one person's here. He's got enough if he gives me his money, and then all of a sudden he's what bought armor or something, and he just simply won't drop the money. And, well, that's that, to be honest, until the load hard drop comes, which is, which is in a second, actually, but no, I just managed to survive that. So I've still got, still got a minute 20 until the loadout drop comes, so I'm just stuck with this stoner at the moment. Taking out plenty of players though. Two kills so far, but I think I've got three players downed at the moment.
Everyone's in the I just really want my ISO to be honest at this point. As good as this stoner is. I would actually like to include the stoner in more videos, but purely based on its name, the YouTube algorithm doesn't really like to push videos about the stoner, if you understand what I mean. I'm going to go for the revive, even though he wouldn't give me his money. Still a team player. Nice little double kill. Of course that guy went down straight away again because he ran outside. So oh. I don't know what blew me up then. But that was rude. Finally though, respawned, landed on my loadout and I finally got my ISO again. Stick a claymore down there. I can never tell if that's above or below when you hit people like that. Is that above or below? That's my claymore that's gone off. I was surprised to see that they actually stood exactly where the claymore went off. Usually people run away, but made my life easier. As you can see, my teammate, they're extremely unhelpful and they're sort of just all spreading out, going nowhere near the loadout. I've got a down, going to go for a stun. I'll be honest, I didn't think that grenade was going to be able to get me being as I was below it, but I've fallen for that before. And then I got rushed. And then finished off, unfortunately. Managed to get my loadout again though, luckily. Trying to survive as best I can. In the prison now as the circle really starts to shrink. But this is where the ISO can actually become really useful. Like then for example when a guy just drops out of the roof. <laughs> and starts shooting at me. All of his mates were above. According to the map as well. So I've got to watch out for them. I can hear players coming though. And of course I die to zero footsteps because he had dead silence. But anyway, I think that is the end of the game for me. Eight kills though, had a good game and the ISO is really good fun even over two very short games. You can really see how good it is. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.